me this is a guided mediation session it's just to make sure that you are relaxed a bit before we start the session right so everyone just sit straight everyone just sit straight just back relaxed 90 degrees relaxed chin a little bit up and close your eyes Take a deep breath, but without making noise, slowly. Hold it, hold it, hold your breath, hold your breath. Slowly exhale. Now, this is different to the last session. Last time we did exhaling slowly. Now we'll do exhaling as fast as possible. Take a deep breath slowly. Inhale as much as possible. Hold it at the peak. Ubir baga, swashin baga, lopal pilch kundi, pilch kundarwata. Hold jayendi. Hold it. Exhale. As if you are relieving your stress out from your body. Inhale. 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 Your tummy should come forward, not your rib cage. Okay. Whenever you're inhaling inside, your tummy should come forward because you're filling up your lungs with air and your tummy with air. Slowly hold it, hold it, exhale. Do it two more times, guys. Inhale, little bit thin up. Little bit chin up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Again, inhale. 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 You just need to slowly hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Don't open your eyes. Rub your palms. Rub your palms. Rub your palms. Keep it on your eyes. You should keep the base of a palm of, you know, onto your eyes. Me arichaya base. Rish to the gra pine on the thumb place the gininji. Akadinji wet kundi. Kalameda. Put it on your eyes. You feel the warmth. Again, do it. Put it on your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. Try to slowly open your eyes. Right. So everyone, did you all feel start? Did you all feel relaxed? Yes. Okay. Can you please mute people who have been uh, unmuted? Please mute guys. Right now, I'm taking out the permission to unmute from yourself. I'll just give your permissions when granted. Right. So, last time, we were speaking about the roadmap for diabetes, the from freedom to, uh, I mean, from diagnosis to freedom. Right. 
So from diagnosis to freedom, your roadmap to diabetes remission or any other remissions like PCOD or anything. So main points are, you know, we have been discussing about, you know, adopting a balanced nutritious diet. You have to be committed to do a regular exercise. You have to maintain your weight effectively. You have to prioritize your sleep and stress management. You have to monitor your blood glucose regularly, effectively, regularly. You have to uh, stay consistent with your medical appointments. So these these were the points that we, we discussed. It, it was around six points that we discussed, right? So first point is adopt a balanced nutritious diet. You have to make sure that you maintain a very balanced diet. You have to commit to regular exercises because consistency is what that leads to uh, a, a good result and then that reaps your targets. Next is managing your weight effectively, losing at least 5 to 10% of your body weight can significantly impact your blood sugar levels. That can significantly impact PCOD. That can significantly impact your blood pressure. That can significantly impact your blood cholesterol levels. Okay. So point is you have to always set a realistic goal. Okay. Mindful eating. You should have a mindful eating. Whenever you, uh, whenever you eat, you have to pay attention to your hunger cues. You have to avoid emotional eating. You have to uh, practice portion control. So these are very important. Next is prioritize your sleep and stress management. Sleep hygiene is very important. You have to be very consistent with your sleep quality. You have to reduce, reduce your stress. Engaging in relaxation techniques such as meditation. Right now, what we did? So we did in a relaxation technique. Many, many of us in our day-to-day -day life, because of your busy lives, forget to think about how we breathe. We all forgot about how we breathe. So about this, what happened is, people started to lose a lot of positive vibes in their life. Why? Because they are always stressed out. So whenever they're stressed out, they always tend to become very negative or they, they tend to become low, they tend to become sluggish. So yes, every now and then, whenever you have a couple of minutes, we did just for two to three minutes, I guess. Yeah. So those two to three minutes are very much useful for your body to get relaxed in between whatever busy busy schedule that you have in your day. It can be a deep breathing exercise. It can be a, a guided meditation exercises. It can be a small pose of a yoga. You need to, you need to make sure that you prioritize your stress management. You need to prioritize your sleep. There are a lot of practice that we uh, don't have, that we don't need on a daily basis. Some people prioritize on checking the reels. Some people prioritize checking their mails. I agree, they need to be checked. But point is, which one is important? Your health, your stress, your sleep, which one? So you need to prioritize things in a, in a, in a, in a proper way. Or else you can't give yourself some time to make sure that you stress, you relieve that stress from your body. It will always be imbibed into your body. You have to make sure of it. You have to monitor your blood glucose levels regularly. You have to check your weight at least once in a week, right? Make sure you are staying consistent with your medical appointments with your doctor. So this is, this is so important, guys. Right. And uh, can someone tell what, what were the points that we discussed? Can one just jot down for the new people? Just a second, I'm unmuting you guys. Yes, anyone can speak out. Just volunteer. Yeah. Okay, so anyone would like to take that and uh, jot down the points, the points which I have told right now. What are the six points that we discussed last time? First of all, when now I'll just jot down it. First of all, when you got to know that you're diabetic or pre-diabetics, always consult with the healthcare professional. 
you should understand about your diagnosis, whether it's diabetes, PCOS, hypertension, you should understand them. And then you should understand what is remission. You should focus on nutrition. You should prioritize your physical activity. You should monitor your blood sugar levels. You should manage your stress and mental well-being. Right? So you have to be consistent and persistent. So till this, we have discussed in the last meeting and we'll go further on our, on our the remaining points. So point is the regular follow-up and monitoring, scheduling regular follow-ups appointments with your healthcare provider to assess your progress, to adjust your treatment plans as needed and address any concerns or challenges that you're facing. This is very important. Many people put, put it through themselves. They don't put it out. They say like, sir, I thought you were busy. I, I don't want to disturb you. I'm not asking you to disturb me. I'm asking you to put out your concern out. You could text me. You could put a voice message or you could you could call a care manager and tell your issues. Our care manager is Sujata in IDA clinics. You can always call her. People who are on D360. People who are on DRTs, diabetes remission therapies for the next three months or from the past, who have been on the past three months, they can always put a message to me or put a voicemail to me. So these regular follow-ups and monitoring is very much needed. See, we are all putting a lot of efforts to get back to you every weekend to make sure that we maintain that rapport. It should be at least 50% from your side and 50% from my side. So this is very important, guys. Right? And whenever... Whenever you feel lost, whenever you feel not motivated, you can always you can always get back to me. You can always start sharing your issues. You can always start sharing your hurdles. So what is that? What is that one thing that is not asking you to get up and then go out and do that activity? So it is very important to make sure that you are consistent and persistent with your activities. You have regular follow-ups and monitoring so that why why are we why are we uh -huh. discussing all these things because to stay proactive in managing your diabetes or pcos or hypertension or weight loss if you don't openly share with your healthcare team about any changes in your health it is very difficult for us to assess you or it is a little bit you know that the friction comes out so let's make sure that it is both ways. It is just not a one-way traffic. It is two-way traffic. Give and take policies. Right? So, next point. So, in remission, this is a very important point that we need to discuss today. Ivalamanam Nerskobaya topic law is a very important point. Initial ga. First of all, my healthcare professional consult out them. Asli diabetes ante anti remission ante anti tells ko them. My nutrition me the focus che them. My physical activity me the equa priority priority ko them. At least week lo ko 150 minutes my physical activity unda la choose ko them. My blood sugar levels na apni every weekly once or twice check che ko them. Stress levels manage che ko them. My mental well being ni baga unch ko them. Meditation che them, yoga che them, deep breathing exercise che them. Yoni chala important. Alagi consistent gonatum, persistent gonatum, chala important. So regular follow up chess column, monitor chess column, nutritionist nikal kalatum, doctor nikalatum. This is idi chala important. Mano roju less than a mana, choose in a new sanagani, choose in a real sanagan, mali choose three on tomorrow. So adding a question, mali adadana tapem ledu, but point is adagali. So relapse chala mandiki. Many people face this issue called relapse. Relapse means sugar smelly or stable. If you are practicing healthy lifestyle, if you are practicing balanced diet, if you are practicing meditation, it will never relapse. Staying vigilant about monitoring your blood sugar levels is very important. No. No, it is never that case. We have seen lot of cases 
where we had checked their eyesight for retinopathy and they have started to get retinopathy because they have given themselves a period of two years, one year, four years, three years. Three years, two years, one year, 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 one Kundamandiki diabetic food start in the Kundamandiki strokes or check, Kundamandiki dialysis. So we don't want this nothing to happen to you guys. We want you to stay vigilant. Induk vigilant gondal, Indukumanam, uh, Chala, uh, Jartha gondali and take an cup. See, bipad danki, Jartha padanki, Majuro china sanaki tunante. So bipad kortu, Jartha padan. So Jartha padata on a chala important. Staying vigilant is very important. Balanced diet lo unna maleda, active ga unna maleda, stress managers kut na maleda, manok support unda leda. So this is very important. So seeking that support is very important. Continue practicing your healthy lifestyle habits even after remission. Because sometimes it relaxes. If you if you think and if you become overconfident that your sugars has been gone, you know it will hit you back. So please be aware of it. Right. So, so what support and resources do you have for this? You have every weekend Zoom it arranged just to make sure that your that your awareness is increased, that we give you support, that we talk to you, so that you are heard of, and give you a lot of tips and tricks, health tips, motivation. Even if you so classes, see, manaki very carnal untai manaki idin and busy unna no adin and busy unna adikad. At least that one hour of time, if you spend on your health, we can lo me me body gunch meer tells kodan meer spend chayendi because this is very important, guys. If you can spend that time on you, it will give you a lot of positive results. Surround yourself with always supportive network of families and friends. Always positive vibes. You you surround yourself with your healthcare providers, your diabetic educators who can offer encouragement, guidance, and practice support for you, and and, and they give you a practical support in 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 general. See, if at all you have an issue, you speak to someone, you start feeling relaxed. If you are unheard, me badan me badan me chepko ko pote, lagta me kunai badal chepko pote. Inka 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 body lo are stress build up. You have to let it out. So that's the reason there is a group meet every weekend. Why group? Don't suffer in silence in single. If you put it out, you will have a lot of people around you. Me situation lo ne chala and then you, you know that you will know that it is not only you, there are a lot of people around you who are in the same situation. That dilutes your stress and at the same point of time when you seek help it gives you more confidence like okay i have many people around me who will support me as well at the same point of time we are all together in this you are never alone you are never left alone see i agree that Talking to each and every one every day is not possible. But yes, if you definitely have uh, uh, many issues like or any serious issue or any urgent issue that you need to speak, please always get back to me. You have my personal number. You have my personal WhatsApp. Please get back to me. If, if at all I don't get back to you in the next one hour, I'll speak to me. You just put a voicemail message. I'll definitely get back to you by the end of the day. This is for sure. Never ever suffer alone about the pain always share that pain to me it can be anything it can be like your sugar levels might not be dropping as you are expecting it might be like you are unable to follow certain diet you are unable to follow certain regime yes please let me know we will sit out we'll sit and speak and we'll seek another another way that we can reach the destination so if 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 you don't have this high if you if your highway is blocked you have to seek a detour so we'll speak about the other detours. 
మనం దాని గురించి మాట్లాడుకుందాం సపోర్ట్ లేదని ఎప్పుడు ఫీల్ అవ్వద్దు ఆల్వేస్ గెట్ బ్యాక్ టు మీ రైట్ సో so what are the symptoms generally let's discuss about what symptoms a diabetes person might have so because many of type 2 diabetes are asymptomatic okay so first of all we all commonly know polyuria polydipsia and polyphagia andar ki telisindi ekkuga thirst raavatam poly polydipsia ekkuga urine raavatam polyuria ekkuga aakal veyatam polyphagia so excess hunger excess urination excess thirst these are the very common symptoms next one is unintended weight loss you don't know that you are starting to lose weight the body starts using fat and muscle for energy so you start crumbling up you lose weight you shrink up muscle tagipothundi fat tagipothundi because sugar is ekku avatam valla బ్లడ్ లో షుగర్స్ కలిసిపోవడం వల్ల బాడీ దాన్ని యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకోలేకపోవడం వల్ల బాడీ అదర్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీని యూజ్ చేస్తుంది అదర్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ వాట్ డూ వీ హ్యావ్ ది అదర్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ ఇట్స్ ఫ్యాట్ అండ్ మజిల్ సో వెన్ అవర్ దిస్ ఇస్ బర్న్ అప్ ది ఎనర్జీ లిబరేట్స్ ఇవి ఎప్పుడైతే కరడం స్టార్ట్ అవుతాయో మనకి ఎనర్జీ రిలీజ్ అవ్వడం స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది అందుకే హై షుగర్ లెవెల్స్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు అన్ఇంటెండెడ్గా వెయిట్ లాస్ అవుతారు అగైన్ యూ స్టార్ట్ ఫీలింగ్ ఫెటింగ్ so lack of glucose in cells it leads to tiredness mana cells lo ganaka glucose lekapothe tiredness vastundi ee tiredness valla chiraku vastundi chiraku valla kopam vastundi kopam valla different arguments jarutayi one thing leads to another irritation vastundi you start getting irritated you start feeling Uh, lost you start feeling fatigue one thing leads to another next is blurred vision your vision starts getting blurred high glucose levels can cause this because it causes a little bit of swelling in the eye lenses mana lens untai we have this lenses on on the on the tip of our eye those lenses will bulge out and this will uh, swell is what i meant to say watch tai ubbu tai that's the reason blurring of eyes might happen so high sugars will do that slow healing of wounds dabba tagilna tondaraga maniki pechu kattadu whenever you are you have a little bit of bruise on your body your body doesn't allow you to heal faster because of poor blood circulation and high glucose impaired healing it's called as high glucose impaired healing సో గ్లూకోజ్ ఎక్కువ ఉండటం వల్ల హీలింగ్ అన్నది ఇంపేర్ అయిపోతుంది ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ యూ స్టార్ట్ టు హ్యావ్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ హై గ్లూకోజ్ కెన్ వీక్ వీక్ అండ్ యువర్ ఇమ్యూనిటీ సిస్టమ్ సో యూ స్టార్ట్ టు టెన్ టు హ్యావ్ ఫీవర్ ఎవ్రీ నౌ అండ్ దెన్ యూ స్టార్ట్ టు హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వైరల్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ ఫంగల్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ స్కిన్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ so these are all that happens in symptoms for diabetes these are the these are the symptoms that you need to look out and many of you might think like sir i'm not having any ish, i'm not having any symptoms so i'm absolutely fine so how can you say that you're absolutely fine until and unless we check your blood sugar levels unless and until you check your hba1c you don't know whether you're pre diabetic or diabetic recently we we done we have uh, we went to a small corporate and then we did one uh, a basic health screening we came to know that one in every two are pre diabetic and they are all aged in between 25 to 30 how about that recently ga corporate ki ellapudu oka health screening chesinappudu check chesthe iddarlo okaru pre diabetes unde so that is the reality of india right now why we have become from second position to first position because of no awareness and people don't want to put it out that they have diabetes they want to keep it to themselves they want to hide they want to do it slowly they want to do it secretly they want to do it discreetly everything is everything they would like to keep secret but other things they would they, they want to discuss with everyone which are not even related to them 
పక్కనాల గురించి మాట్లాడుకోవాలి వేరేది ముచ్చట్లు చెప్పుకోవాలంటే మనం వంద చెప్పుకుంటాం కానీ మన హెల్త్ గురించి మనం మాట్లాడుకోవాలంటే వీ డోంట్ డూ దాట్ వై ప్లీజ్ చేంజ్ యువర్ యాటిట్యూడ్ ఫర్ యువర్ హెల్త్ ప్లీజ్ స్టార్ట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేటింగ్ ఆన్ యువర్ హెల్త్ ప్లీజ్ స్టార్ట్ గెట్ గెటింగ్ కేర్ ఫర్ యువర్ హెల్త్ దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐ మెన్ టు సే బికాస్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ గైస్ ఎవ్రీ డే రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ ఎవ్రీ డే డూయింగ్ కన్సిస్టెంట్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ బీ కన్సిస్టెంట్ విత్ యువర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ బీ విజిలెంట్ అబౌట్ యువర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ బీ కేర్ఫుల్ అబౌట్ వాట్ యు ఈట్ and uh, you have to make sure that the portions are always controlled you make sure you always put fruits and vegetables in your diet and your portion controls are always addressed we tell you whether your plate is perfect or good good means it is average perfect means it is perfect awesome means it's awesome because awesome means there is no other correction that you need to do perfect is also nearly awesome but you if if you give if you get lot of perfects then you get awesome because you have been adjusted to that regime and if it is if we say okay then it is below average so you need to improve it more so i see lot of you guys sharing me pictures of your meals but mir chaala mandi me meal pictures pampisnaru first point i would like to say always try to have bowls bowls maintain cheyandi it is very easy for you to every day track your meals and meal portions if you put bowls if you put cups so one cup for curry one big cup for curry one medium cup for uh, uh, rice one small cup for your dals and chutneys and rasams or sambars and all you might you make sure that you maintain this bowls and cups this will definitely help you in tracking your progress you will be definitely be adjusted to those portions wherever you go see many people ask sir i'm sir um, i would like to take some time to think about whether i need to take this therapy or not tomorrow thinking is not good trust me if you have a debt if you have some uh, uh, a loan sanctioned up let's say for example you don't pay it on time what happens if you don't do the payment on the right day what happens can someone answer what happens if you don't take a decision on that right moment of time what happens about not paying your or repaying your loan or not repaying your debts can someone answer ever an answer cheyachu meer e roj loan pay cheyalo aa roj loan pay cheyapothe em avutundi you might have all taken loans from banks and for different purposes let's say for a car loan or a house loan or something what happens if you don't pay it on time it will affect your civil score what else and people start coming to your house asking for the money <laughs> right then what happens you start to get um this fee right uh, failure But to pay penalty penalty. Huh? penalty exactly penalties right what else what else stressful right stress it is first of all stress to us are yaar we, we are unable to pay it on time there will be a stress right so same thing why does this logic doesn't apply on your health if we counsel you if we tell you that sir this is your issue if you start doing this right now you don't need to suffer it in the future you don't need to worry about anything in the future because you have been taken care of let's say for example you are relieved once you get your loan gets sanctioned right if your loan gets sanctioned on that day you are very relieved right so because it has been taken care of because you will get money on your in your bank account and then it will be debited by the by the housing company that you are looking forward to and then you start paying your monthly emis it will be like there will be a strategy there will be a uh, uh, pull up of uh, uh, you know lot of thoughts going back in your mind making sure that you know you pay it on time because you have been already you have already addressed everything mir anni plan chese sir already it is already planned right so point is so point is there is no tomorrow thinking 
if one day is lost you start paying penalties similarly if you lose one day if you think like okay yaar it can wait it can wait it can never wait there is nothing called it can wait you have to make sure you take the decision on the right time if you take a decision on the right time and the right moment you are out of the league for struggling on your health you don't need to struggle anymore you just need to concentrate on your health if there is struggle there is ease of way there are two ways of doing two things struggling ways ease of doing things which one would you like to go ahead so you 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 make sure you make sure that you have always you have always that uh, uh that that speck of minute to make sure you take the decision take 5 minutes of time who are your uh, caretakers for your health apart from you who is your decision maker for your health it's it's you first right it's you first then it is your spouse or this uh, it is your parents so if you go to book my show if there is a new movie releasing you don't think a little bit or you don't even think about a second you just go and just book the ticket because you you are a fan of that person and you want to watch that movie you have to do it on the first day first show i have to attend it or you have something like yes i i i love this jewelry i have to get it right now or i love this piece of saree i have to get it right now we all do that right so why do we do this so for small things which are materialistic things in our life we take lot of we 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 don't even think about it and we just go and buy it why you are why are you thinking a lot about getting on to a better way of your life on your health wise meeru chinchina vaatiki avasaram lenu vaatiki chaala energy levels kharch pettesi quick decisions is chestunta okkoni konni vaatiki avasaram kuda undakochu aa sari ivval kaakapothe repana konukochu adu akkade untundi lekapothe dan minchina manchi sari vastundi or dan minchina manchi design unna jewelry vastundi or dan minchina manchi toy vastundi dan minchina next ok uh, uh, i don't know like you you name it you get it something materialistic things you you can always find it but can you get your health back can you get your health back no once it is gone it is gone so you can't get it so you have to make sure you always strive for it in a very positive way manu chaala positive ga strive cheskoni danni teesukovali you have to grab it you have to grab the opportunity when it knocks on your door opportunity all doesn't knock your door all the time maybe second chance is there but there is no third and fourth chances so why why we tell you to make sure why we tell you to take care of yourself it is the right time many people start thinking i'm only pre diabetes now will think about when it becomes diabetic diabetes ayina pur chuddam appudu daka sir naku last 4 years nunchi నాకు ప్రీ డయాబెటీస్ లో ఉన్నాను నాకు ఏం కాలేదు సార్ ఇప్పుడు దాకా సో హూ నోస్ వాట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యాపన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ సో నెక్స్ట్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ కూడా మీరు అలానే ఉంటుంది మీ హెల్త్ అని యూ కెన్ కెన్ యూ గ్యారంటీ దట్ దెర్ ఈస్ సంథింగ్ కాల్ త్రెష్ హోల్డ్ లిమిట్ మన బాడీకి ఒక త్రెష్ హోల్డ్ లిమిట్ ఉంటుంది సో వెన్ యూ క్రాస్ దట్ త్రెష్ హోల్డ్ లిమిట్ యువర్ బాడీ స్టార్ట్స్ బిహేవింగ్ డిఫరెంట్లీ ఆన్ ఇట్ బికాస్ ఎవ్రీ బాడీ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ మెటబాలిజం ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ సేమ్ uh a uh, size of the five fingers so how could you expect everything happens very positive to you yes of course, of course you should have that positive thinking but point is are you taking care for that are you taking proper care to make sure that you have this positive results for you me kadni positive jaragali yes we want everything positive to you we want you to get better but point is are you there in the league of getting positive health or are you in the league to get that far to make sure that you don't end up on xyz medications the whole concept is to reduce the burden of your medications not to increase it let's say for example when we ask you to when we suggest you sir instead of taking a pill just go and have a physio why do we suggest that because we don't want that pill to affect your kidneys if it is if it is so uh, let's say for example if it is so uh, uh, urgent or if it is so necessary to take a pill and get your pain released off doctor will definitely suggest that and he will also give you an opinion for the same if you are having knee pains if you are having back pains if you are joint pains mi kal nepulunna nadu nepulunna 
ప్లీజ్ ఫిజియో ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకోండి ఎందుకంటే ఒక నాలుగు రోజులు వాడే ఆ పెయిన్ కిల్లర్ కిడ్నీస్ మీద ఎఫెక్ట్ చూపిస్తుంది సపోజ్ మీ కిడ్నీస్ బండరాలు అనుకుందాం ఏమీ కాదు గుడ్ కిడ్నీస్కి చిన్న చిన్న సెన్సిటివ్ ఇష్యూస్ ఉన్నాయి అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం సో టేకింగ్ పెయిన్ కిల్లర్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ద సొల్యూషన్ నెక్స్ట్ టైం అవి రాకుండా ఉండాలంటే ఏం చేయాలి ఫస్ట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రికాషన్ దట్ యూ నీడ్ టు టేక్ దట్ మేక్ షూర్ దట్ నెక్స్ట్ టైమ్ యూ డోంట్ గెట్ ఇట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వన్ థింగ్ దట్ హెల్ప్స్ యూ టు మేక్ షూర్ దట్ యూ దట్ యువర్ జర్నీ టువర్డ్స్ ఫ్రీడమ్ ఫ్రమ్ డయాబెటీస్ ఈజ్ 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 లైక్ వెరీ పీస్ఫుల్ ఈజ్ లైక్ యూ గెట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ సింపుల్ యాజ్ దాట్ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ టు స్ట్రగుల్ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ టు పుట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫర్ట్స్ సో మీ మీకు సజెస్ట్ చేసిన థింగ్స్ కానీ మీకు సజెస్ట్ చేసిన ఇష్యూస్ కానీ మీకు సజెస్ట్ చేసిన టిప్స్ కానీ ఇవన్నీ చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూ గైస్ కెన్ ప్రయారిటైజ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ డెఫినెట్లీ దట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హెల్ప్ యూ అవుట్ సో ఆల్వేస్ సీ సి వి పుట్ అన్నెసెసరీ వి వి పుట్ అన్నెసెసరీ పేమెంట్స్ ఫర్ అన్నెసెసరీ పేమెంట్స్ ఎవ్రీ నవ్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఎవ్రీ డే టు డే లైఫ్ హియర్ అండ్ దేర్ sometimes you go get some uh, a pair of a pair of shirt and pant or or some jewelry or some uh, uh, a, a a sofa uh, um, you know or a furniture to buy in your home i don't i'm i'm not denying that i'm not saying no don't buy them but prioritize your issues first which one is good your health or the the materialistic thing and on top of it why we are treating this why diabetes is being treated why pcos is being treated why overweight and obesity is being treated why are we treating it what is the issue of it what happens if it is not treated can someone uh, um, can someone unmute themselves and tell me the points that affects diabetes i want one to volunteer about diabetes i want one to volunteer about pcos i want one to address about uh, hypertension and overweight what happens if it is not treated can someone unmute and then tell about it what happens if diabetes is not treated em avutundi diabetes ni manam time lo treat cheyapothe ah hi gautam garu it leads to complications like uh, retinopathy and uh, rest of the things like uh, major uh, kidney failures uh, like that right what are the five things that gets affected uh, eyes uh, food uh, right. kidney right uh, i mean even the nervous system i guess mm-hmm. uh, yes what else i think everything everything i guess uh, i mean uh, it should separate it uh, one by one right so what happens if if this happens the quality of life is increased or decreased it it decreases right decreases quantity yeah. of life is increased or decreased decreases everything will be decreased as actually yes. we, we will quality. take more medication for all the complications uh-huh. so how do you define quality and quantity of life how do you define it what is quantity of life i mean it's uh, all about uh, our uh, regular uh, i i mean uh, uh, lifestyle uh, lifestyle changes like uh, the consulting the quality i'm talking yeah. about quantity what is quantity of life mm-hmm. quantity in the sense yes. our our life expectancy yeah it increases actually if we are on uh, normal uh, sugar levels i'm talking about the other way what what if what what does it mean if the quality and quantity of life is compromised what does it mean so by default the diabetes will affect the life expectancy of a person if it is untreated if it is treated on time the life expectancy increases than it is we have to at least preserve what we have of life expectancy right we are not expecting miracles to happen but we have to preserve what we have manak manak unnadi mana save cheskol gaani unnadi waste chesko dalchko korkar ga so yeah correct feet heart brain kidneys these are the five things that gets affected so these are the five organs that gets affected so why do you need a continuous care for some people they need continuous care why do they need that sometimes they lack motivation 
sometimes they don't have awareness because they have been inconsistent with their previous uh, consultations or they have been inconsistent with their previous results. That's the reason we always advise them to go for a continuous care. Why continuous care is important? Because they were unable to manage it on their own. And that's the reason we put it forward in such a way that it is being taken care of. It is being properly monitored. You have someone to push you forward every now and then. You get you get into Zoom meets, you get asked about questions, you answer them, it triggers positive attitude inside your brain, and then your health starts changing better. Up. Your quality starts getting better. Your quality of life starts getting better. To extend the quality and quantity of your life is what the mission is about. Why do we treat PCOS? What happens with PCOS? Can someone answer? If PCOS is not treated, what happens? PCOS is nothing but irregular cycles, hirsutism, uh, getting facial hair and uh, acne on the body, not getting your cycles on time, affecting your fertility. What, what happens if it is not treated? PCOS, if it is not treated, what happens? Anyone can volunteer an answer about it. I see a lot of female people in, in the today's session. Can someone answer? They might have their daughters, they might have their uh, themselves, or you know, they might have faced, faced it previously. What happens if PCOS is not treated? Can someone answer? Well, no. uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I'm not person uh, correct to answer it, but it will affect. Uh, it will go to uh, like. Uh, Diabetes level only, I think we can they can face uh, diabetes. That is one thing. Yeah. What is the other thing? Thyroid. Yeah. Any other hormonal issues? What uh, What does PCOS gonna come on a timely treat time ki treat check? What they amount in there? What happens? Obesity. No, no, obesity leads to PCOS, that is different. But what happens if PCOS is not treated on time? I'll tell you. If PCOS is not treated on time, I'll give I'll give you a couple of minutes to think about it and answer me. Anyone can answer. It's not only like women need to answer about it. A pillar putter, sir. What is it called? Fertility, I think. Right. So PCOS, if not treated on time, the risk of untreated polycystic ovary syndrome is first thing is infertility. Yes. What is the other thing? Hormones imbalance and uh, overweight. What, what other things happens? What is the one thing that helps a woman to keep calm during her cycles? Or if they're having proper regular cycles, what happens to them? If they don't have, what happens to them? It affects their mental health, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Because they start putting on weight. They start to have acne. They start to have excessive hair growth because testosterone level starts becoming higher. Because this leads to low self-esteem, depression, and anxiety. Hormonal imbalance can also contribute to mood swings and mental health disorders. How many of you know about it? Women with untreated PCOD often experience higher level of stress. And okay, guys, please make sure when you're unmuting the mic, there is no disturbance around you because it disturbs the decorum of the meat. Thank you. What else? Someone before said, like obesity and weight gain. Yes. Harm because PCOS leads to hormone imbalances, it leads to unexplained weight gain, especially around the abdomen. The waist circumference starts increasing. What happens if waist circumference starts increasing? Because PCOS also leads to diabetes. PCOS also leads to cardiovascular diseases. This can become a vicious cycle. As excess weight further exacerbates, PCOS symptoms exit. PCOS symptoms increase hypotendi, other health risks increase hypothai because especially insulin resistance starts becoming higher. High cholesterol, heart diseases. San Pichachu, not just PCOS, I don't have a tablet, I don't have a tablet, I don't have a walking class, no. 
even though you are thin you are slim you are normal weight you have to go out and do the physical activity there is no excuse for it ammo enta kana cheste nen inka bakkaga ayipoy skeleton ayipothunu emo no your body doesn't work that way because your metabolism should go always forward not backward should go higher not lesser me metabolism peragala gani taggakodadu cardiovascular diseases start avutayi ओके कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स पेरुत है ब्लड प्रेशर पेरुत है सो हायर लाइकलीहुड ऑफ मेटाबॉलिंग ऑल डेवलपिंग ऑल दिस मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम्स दीस फैक्टर्स कंट्रीब्यूट टू हायर रिस्क ऑफ हार्ट अटैक्स एंड स्ट्रोक्स लेटर इन लेटर स्टेजेस इपुर आलो इपुर सी इपुर गुनीस मन आलो चेस्ट नम ओके बट व्हाट अबाउट योर फ्यूचर आल्सो आज वो आलो चिंचा बिकॉज़ हार्मोन फ्लक्चुएशंस विल ट्रिगर लॉट ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज स्लीप एपनिया पीपल विद women especially with untreated pcos especially those who are overweight and obese are at higher risk of developing sleep apnea a condition where sleep apnea ante telsa a condition where we breathe repeatedly uh, the breathing repeatedly stops and starts during the sleep stop and start gurakantam guraka so this also starts for pcos people you might see it as a symptom don't see it is nothing uh, uh, like you know Uh, a small thing or it is nothing to shy to talk about snoring are em anku nenu ammai gurku pettundante em anukuntaru abbayilu kada gurku pettedi no please don't have that secondary thought a secondary thinking oddu like magavalki vastundi guruka aadavalku raakodadu aadavalku raadu aadavalku vaste ganaka bite cheppokodadu no you have to put it out because it is a disorder So the developing sleep apnea happens because of overweight because of blockage in the nostril because of high amount of deposit of fat around the neck area these are the reasons so you have to treat it or you have to lose weight then everything starts becoming better it is often so sleep apnea unde em avutundi first of all fatigue untundi daily every day you start feeling fatigue nirsam vachestundi thondaraga mood swings you start having mood swings చిరాకు కోపం వచ్చేస్తాయి సి దిస్ ఆర్ ద బేసిక్ సింటమ్స్ అ పిసిఓఎస్ పర్సన్ మైట్ ఫేస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అన్ట్రీటెడ్ సో వాట్ ఇస్ ఎర్లీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద కీ ఫర్ ఎర్లీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫర్ పిసిఓఎస్ లైఫ్ స్టైల్ చేంజెస్ ఓకే ఫర్టిలిటీ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ మెడికేషన్స్ దెర్ దెర్ ఆర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ దట్ యు నీడ్ టు టేక్ కేర్ బట్ యు కాన్ కీప్ ఇట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ బట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇస్ వాట్ వాట్ యు నీడ్ టు సీ you change your lifestyle and see whether you have this 99% of result or not still it is not happening then there is some issue with the hormones there is some issue with internally there is some issue hereditarily you have to seek a doctor's help that's where women people women starts getting treated with fertility treatments if you take action early if meer ganaka action ganaka early ga theesukogaligithe that's the best way to manage that's the best way that is the best way long term health risk ki man oka end pettachu if you even suspect that you might have pcos just go and get it checked it out and lot of i see lot of women participants today you speak you speak to your people you speak to your daughters you speak to your fellow colleagues ask them about their uh, Uh, uh uh hormonal health this is very important because one step of action that is taken early is always t- gives you positive results that always gives you positive results agree someone started messaging just give me a second obesity yeah very good so what is hypertension why we need to de- treat hypertension can someone tell me can someone tell me about blood pressure if it is untreated what are the dangers of untreated high blood pressure see this session is not to scare you guys this session is all about creating awareness many people might think like sir i already know about this why are you telling me again i have to tell you again because high chance is that in your busy life you might forget the importance of getting it treated yes gautam so i think uh, blood pressure will cause uh, heart attacks heart yeah. stroke and yeah. 
like uh, the nervous system, brain uh, nerves will clot something yes. like that will yes. happen yes yes see first of all high blood pressure will weaken the blood vessels how many of you know that because there will be a continuous pressure and it causes the blood vessels to bulge and form an aneurysm you know what is aneurysm all can see my um, screen i'll be sharing it it's called brain aneurysm it's just like a clot Can everyone see this? Can everyone yes. see this? So this is aneurysm. See, this is swollen. The blood vessel is swollen. So what happens if there is a bulge in that area? So it's like a blister, it's like a bump, right? So this is like high blood pressure if it is not under you. Everyone might not get this. Everyone might not have this. See, smoking causes cancer. Everyone might not have cancer. But there will be a 50% of risk factor. So anything that is untreated carries risk factor. So that's the reason you need to get it treated out. Man, what the endku chest na mante the risk factor unten ka abati treat chay also. See, sometimes blood pressure might lead to kidney damage, vision loss, retinopathy, is because of high blood pressure and high diabetes. How many of you know this? Eye blindness is happening in many of diabetic patients. I'll tell you what is the exact number. Um, give me a second. So do you know that we have nearly 80, 77 to 80 million people affected with diabetes in India? And it is expected to rise by 134 million by the end of 2045 in the next 20, 20 years. So studies estimated that 18 to 20% of people with diabetes in India have some form of diabetic retinopathy. That means approximately in India, there are 13 to 15 million people in India with diabetes that are high at risk at retinopathy. And 18 to 20 people out of every 100 diabetic persons. One of diabetes people in India, that's what it means, right? 20% is that. So 20% of people will have retinopathy at some point of time. So screening is important. Complication screening is important. And it is very important to know about whether you have it already or not. It is nothing bad about it. Sir, I don't have any symptoms. My eyesight is fine. Last time I checked it, uh, my doctor said, like, your eyes are like eagle. No. So you have to make sure that it is properly checked out. So checking your eyesight is different. Checking your retina is ex retinal examination is different. It's called fundoscopy. Of those with diabetic retinopathy, about 5 to 10 percent may develop severe forms of conditions such as proliferative diabetic retinopathy or diabetic macular edema, which significantly increases the vision loss or blindness. So, Malli A Irvai Satam Lo, and the Mandi diabetes lo, Irvai Satam Mandi ki retinopathy, which is Aukas Munte, Dantla is Satam, and Irvai Lo Okalki. But 
సో ఉన్నారా లేదా అన్న చెక్ చేసుకోవాలి ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అబౌట్ మీకు వచ్చేస్తుంది లేకపోతే అయిపోతుంది కాదు ఇట్స్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ టేకింగ్ ప్రివెన్షన్ ప్రివెన్షన్ ఈజ్ బెటర్ దాన్ క్యూర్ వై డిడ్ దిస్ ఏ దాట్ ప్రివెన్షన్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డెఫినెట్లీ బెటర్ దాన్ క్యూర్ వచ్చిన తర్వాత బాధపడే ముందర పరిగెట్టి మనం ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకునేది కాకుండా కూర్చుని ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకోండి ముందరే తీసుకోండి యు టేక్ ఇట్ ఎర్లియర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ నాట్ లేటర్ రైట్ గైస్ సో వై బికాస్ వెన్ దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ ప్రెషర్ ఆన్ హార్ట్ హార్ట్ ఆల్వేస్ పుషెస్ ఇట్ టు కిడ్నీస్ అండ్ వెన్ దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ ప్రెషర్ ఆన్ ద కిడ్నీస్ కిడ్నీ స్టార్ట్స్ పుషింగ్ ఇట్ ఎవే టు ద హార్ట్ సో బోత్ ఫీల్ ఫైట్ ఇద్దరు కొట్టుకుంటారు సో ఇద్దరు కొట్టుకున్నారు అనుకోండి ఎవరికి నష్టం ఇఫ్ బోత్ అవర్ హార్ట్ అండ్ కిడ్నీస్ ఆర్ ఫైటింగ్ హూ ఈస్ ఎట్ ద లాస్ వి ఆబ్వియస్లీ వి అస్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు నో సో దట్స్ ద రీజన్ ఇన్ డయాబెటీస్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ వి మేడ్ షూర్ దట్ వి చెక్ దర్ కాంప్లికేషన్స్ ఎవ్రీ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ మంత్స్ so that's the benefit of joining d360 program many people will definitely thank us later because we have been giving continuous care for them and diabetes remission therapy is just like a trailer for it where you get treated for the first 3 months because these first 3 months get treated every 3 months in d360 and everything is taken care of your quarterly checkups doctor consultations physiotherapy consultations these are all checked up so please please take care of your health if you have any doubts if you have any uh, uh, like say for example any doubts regarding your managing of your health care if you're worried about your not only you your parents you might be at risk your parents see sometimes uh, you know um, daughters or sons stays away from the parents they might be another cities or they might be in other countries uh, in us they might have their kids and here the parents are there in india in hyderabad for them this is much more recommended because every 3 every 3 months our team goes and gets the health checkup done they don't need to come to us even this all things can be claimed from the comfort of their home itself while internally well cheskochu while parents unna while relatives unna colleagues unna this this can help them d360 can help them d360 is nothing but diabetes 360 so in this diabetes 360 the benefit is first of all continuous care is whatever motto is and then because of giving continuous care we can avoid the organ damages that's the main motto of it okay so i'm going to wrap up the session in the next 5 to 10 minutes guys because 945 i got to know that you have some physiotherapy session for people who are in d360 Dr. Sirisha will take care of the session. And this five minutes that we have, uh, eight minutes that we have is for question and answer session. Please put forward your questions, your doubts, your answers in the chat, especially in the chat. Please put your questions or queries in the chat. And I'll uh, let everyone unmute themselves and then speak about their issues. Please come to chat, guys, and then put your queries. Any doubts? so how do you how did you feel about today session motivating um not motivating dull informative not informative please please let me know guys please be uh, humble and genuine with your answers how did you felt meek informative anpinchinda motivating anpinchinda em anpinchindi subhagar are you still online so hi gautam shailaja yeah hi shailaja hi hi uh, so i find this as informative and yeah. of course uh, it is definitely needing to motivation to get on to the programs what you say yeah. and uh, yeah i think there is lot more uh, i have come to know maybe i've been there here for the first time from first to last <laughs> so right. i sorry. so i got the time uh, i find this is more informative thanks to you definitely definitely mrs sailaja uh, you have my number yes i do have 
right you can you can always get back to me for a one on session and we can discuss more details about it so yeah so uh, sirish agaru can you speak a few lines about your your journey you can unmute yeah hi gautam hi hi yeah so um actually this session was very informative and it was very motivating actually right um so how was your journey ma'am yeah it was like almost at 350 i have and i reached to this hospital but mm -hmm. now it has almost has been reduced to half like as you said yesterday yeah yeah so uh, this was so helpful and uh, actually when i start with this journey um actually i had so many other issues as well yeah. but uh, so many has been reduced like uh, the gastric issue i have been reduced right. uh, and uh, the other issue is like urination right i had a frequent urination in the midnight and i was like waking up almost of four to five times in the midnight Right. Uh, but it has been reduced a lot actually that was so helpful for me and i had a quality time of sleep right um and uh, the food habits actually i have been trying to change but uh, it was taking I'm some time i'm sorry sirisha i'll tell you what hmm. it's been just 15 days i guess yes right yes yes today was today 16th day yeah so in these 15 days what you have not done previously have been done at least Yeah, yeah. Right. Actually, I'm. I'm. What was the thought process? Has been changed in my diet as well as huh. in my lifestyle. Yeah. What was your thought process before joining the program? Mm, actually, I was trying to from my side, and I was not doing anything at all, and I don't have a proper guidance what to have to do and right. all. That's a very good point. You didn't have proper guidance, right? Hmm. Yeah. So when you don't have guidance, what happens? You start to look here and there. Yeah. And when you start to look here and there, first of all, you start getting confused. Hmm. Whether hmm. I need to do like what? Where should I start with? Right. Yes. yes. So for many people, the problem is that they don't know where they need to start with. Hmm. And you did the right, and you did the right task, getting into D three sixty or D R T, whichever the people who have already been in the uh, as participants today, one of them. really got to know the effects of the aftermath of diabetes and the and in diabetes what are the issues that they going to face so i can say 50% of your treatment is already done sir sirisha do you agree with that yes yes the other 50% is picture abhi baaki hai mere dost right <laughs> yeah yeah and we have to try it from ourselves as well right <laughs> exactly exactly if, if see your your efforts are never gone in vain you will see this leads to lot of positivity in your health and definitely that will bring lot of confidence in you right and um, yeah mr sandeep hi just tell me a few words about your journey till now if you're there sandeep it's okay if you're not there it's fine uh, anyone else shravan munireddin ji anyone ab bol sakte ho ap apne bare mein ki aapka hal aapka khayal kaisa hua abhi health kaisa hai yeah hi gautam hi so on this side hi hi yeah gautam yeah so uh, i remember the first day when i met you right so that was the time uh, i don't even know what is diabetes and how it happens so <laughs> i also discussed many things with you uh, so regarding the so you have whatever the the first day the instructions which you have which you have given right so i was i mean i was about to follow as exactly as you said so now i can see the results uh, so i can have the i can have my uh, if i check my blood sugar as you mentioned like in the uh, monday as well as thursday right so i can able to maintain below 150 and sometimes i i am uh, it is like uh, the least i have seen is 105 and i am just trying to get that back to 90 as uh, as a normal one right 
so previously what i used to do so i used to eat more and not even going outside for any of the physical activity or what so uh, yeah it's i mean nowadays with, with the diet you have said right so i am feeling very uh, my my, I'm, my body is feeling very light so which i have never felt and uh, yeah so, yeah and i'm seeing some changes also uh, uh, mentally as well as physically which i was uh, never had in my life before yeah right. i'm seeing the very better uh, i'm seeing the very better lifestyle nowadays for me okay so what did you come to know the diet or the process uh i think it's the process right. uh, see it's the process not the diet see uh, every day see uh, previously i don't have the i, I don't used to go for a physical activity so nowadays i'm going for a walk like uh, so uh, i don't believe sometimes i used to go for a walk for 16 16 kilometers on sundays so i am i used i mean whenever uh, i go out right um, particularly if i go to my village i used to enjoy my walking right. so that is what that is giving me some happiness as well as some yeah uh, some good health for me as well yeah great great that's that would be really uh, inspiring for many of us today uh, thank you thank you so much for your feedback yeah 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 and one more query gautam so uh, so gautam i so how much amount of i, ha I have already pasted in the chat yes, so yes. how much diet and should a person have per day so can see, i have a just yeah, knowledge on see, i'll tell you see first of all your thumb size of fat okay two palm size of protein okay and a fistful of carbohydrates is what a person okay. needs so it depends from person to person again right the size of their palm the size of the the the, the length of their or the this the amount of their fist okay the the size of their thumb so that is for you for your thumb size is your fat that you require in a day your okay. two palm size of protein is what you require in a day okay no. so, i mean not in a day like it's in a meal at least and one fish one uh, one uh, a fistful of carbs is what you need so fistful of carbs palm size of protein and thumb size of fat per one meal so okay. you, you have three meals you have three into three is what you need to take care of it okay okay thank you thank that's you. as easy that i can explain it to you because if at all i tell in grams people might take it for granted and they might start reducing their amount of protein intake or they might increase their intake so for you it is that for every person it is that okay okay thank you right okay any other questions guys no questions okay so yeah it's 9:30 guys uh, by 9:45 dr sirisha will take care of your d360 patients and then Uh, she takes the um, uh, physiotherapy session thank you so much guys to maintain the decorum of the meet and making a very success sunday zoom webinar and i love you guys always and please take care of your health and have a happy sunday thank you